I'm Ocean, this is Otter. I'm from Germany, he's from the US, so I will try some snacks from the US today. Category number two of the video. <laughs> and he's looking up there because all the snacks are up yeah, there because are. we didn't have space on here anymore. So we have two that would really be considered snack snacks. Mm -hmm. We have one that's kind of like a bar -y snack and then one that some people might consider a dessert. But again, America, it's a snack. <laughs> so let's start out with some Lay's, but you have Lay's in Germany, right? We do, we have a bunch of flavor. I'm not sure if we have that flavor, we might even have it, but I'll stay, try it anyway because I haven't tried it yet. Lay's dill pickle flavor. You don't have mm. it? I'm not sure, we might actually, I'm not sure. For the purposes of this, this is American. Mm -hmm. I just... What I want you to do is right when I open the bag, I want you to get a whiff. Okay. All right? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It smells like salt and vinegar chips. Because of the vinegar, like the dill yeah. pickle. It smells very vinegary. So it tastes like salt and vinegar? Mm-hmm. Is it literally just salt and vinegar? There's like an aftertaste to it, but the first thing you taste is vinegar. Oh yeah, there's a strong like garlicky aftertaste, I feel like. Oh no, that's just straight dill. The aftertaste? Yeah, I actually mm -hmm. haven't tried these either. <laughs> Yeah, but the first thing you taste is just straight up vinegar. But fair enough, that's what is it like what you do to pickle things. So, so if you pickle a pickle, is it a pickled pickle? So, Moving on. <laughs> what would you rate those? Um, like a seven. Seven? I, I really like salt and vinegar chips, but I like them more than those because those have less aftertaste. Moving on to something that's actually not too widely known, but something that I personally love. I hope it doesn't look too different. We had some issues where to restart the camera. Some issues with filming, but we haven't opened the chickpea puffs yet. What that? So they're chickpea puffs, vegan white, white cheddar. I imagine them to be similar to just like cheese balls and stuff. Like we have them in Germany too. Not sure, I had like some vegan mac and cheese like from the box. And that smell like, like that cheese smell like these cheese balls. Expired. No, not expired, just this strong artificial cheese taste. Oh yeah, that's what they smell like. Like feet. <laughs> I feel like this artificial like cheese flavor just, it smells like feet. I don't know where you get in that notion. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Thoughts? I'll let you finish. I'm not the biggest fan of this artificial cheese flavor. Like, I love, love cheese, but like this cheese power smell and flavor is not it for me, so. It's valid. Where did I go? Five. Um, Alright, not bad, not bad. Next up on snacks. For the bar-like thing, we have Fig Newtons, and yes, they are the fat-free ones because that's all the store had at the time. But Fig Newtons, they're like those little uh, granola or cereal bars that have a layer of like fruit jam or fruit stuff in it. But it's it's different. I can't explain. It has a different breading. Hmm. Interesting. They don't look what I expect them to look like. No. You want to show one to the camera? These are also some of my favorite things in the world. Mm -hmm. Newtons. 
made with the real fruit, no high fructose corn syrup. That's a big thing here. A lot of candy, a lot of food, like everything has like high fructose corn syrup, even if it's like just bread or something. Yeah, it just tastes it's so good. <laughs> just tastes like a fruit bar. We have like fruit bars, like often it's like marketed towards kids. Yeah, that's a solid eight, seven, eight. eight. We'll, give, we'll give it an eight. We'll give it the. We'll give of it course, the you want to say that. So moving on to the next snack, or the last snack that we actually mm -hmm. have. Another fall flavor that we've wanted to try forever. Pumpkin spice Oreos. So yeah, she has already tried normal Oreos. And Obviously, because she loves them. we got Oreos in Germany. Just <laughs> not this size. Like, His platter that's size. That's the normal size in the store, right? Yeah. We have like these rolls. Yeah, we have the rolls too, but the aisle, you'll get these. And... I don't think you have pumpkin spice either. No, I don't think so. I also this, tried... Oh, it does have an open tab. It does, yeah. It's like deep in the side. I've also tried red, red velvet because that's also flavor. We don't have. Oh, I miss that smell. Hmm. Ready? <laughs> what? They're good. I think you can mostly taste like the um cookie because obviously this like this is not like the chocolate Oreos, the dark Oreos. They're, they're solid 8 out of 10, yeah. They taste good. And I like the pumpkin spice flavor. I had a few different things like pumpkin spice coffee creamer and stuff. I really like it. At least in my opinion, that's one of the better pumpkin spice flavored things. Mm -hmm. Also, definitely keep that away from me. I'll eat, four, mm -hmm. I'll eat all rows. <laughs> so, scoring of all mm -hmm. the snacks. And the average score of the snacks. Shall we move on to the drinks? Are you thirsty? Yes. We both are. So let's move on to drinks. You already see the most American thing here. They didn't have a single small bottle in the store we went to, so we had to grab the big bottle. And while we have big bottles in Germany, um, he like here in America they have like these multi packs, and you can't get a one bottle out of a multi-pack, you can only get a singular bottle if they have the singular bottles. While well, in Germany, we would have just been able to grab like one out of the multi-pack, you can just open it and take it. Which is what I wish we can do. Like most stores, maybe there are stores where you can't do that, but most of us will allow it. So to get just one bottle, we had to opt for the big bottle. Even though it's a zero sugar version, so I guess a bit less sugar. Yeah, I am preferring the think. zero sugar soda anyway. Yeah. But... We got the root beer. We're gonna have her try. That quite nearly blew up. <laughs> oh, that it would have been embarrassing if it just went all over the table. <laughs> Do we have Mentos? Oh, no. All right, well, I'm gonna pour a little bit in. Yeah. Let's see root beer. I feel like root beer is a really American thing to ride. It is. I, I'm is sure that... you can also get it in Germany in some places, but I've never had it. So. Why not try it when you're here? Why does it kind of smell like shampoo? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't, shampoo. I don't know. I would give it, wait. Um. Like a five out of ten. Five out of ten. Maybe if you had the standard like full sugar one, it'll be a different. 
Yeah. But, but you like it's, it? Yeah, it's fine. Like, it's not something I would go for, but it's fine. To the next drink. You pick it. So, the next drink we have in Germany, it's mostly imported. They recently started selling it, produced, I think, in the Netherlands. Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think they produce in the Netherlands now, too. And up until recently, they sold it for like 10 euros for just one bottle. Maybe that's a hint to some people. And now they started like selling it, produced in the Netherlands in like one store. I don't know if it just was like for this one week or if they now will always sell it for like, I think it was like one ninety nine. But I have never tried it, so let's go. Prime hydration drink, not the energy drink. Alrighty. This is also something I've never tried because... You've only tried the energy drink? No, I've never tried Prime. Didn't you say you did? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. You don't have for just trying. All. You don't have that. Okay. No. So... <laughs> I've honestly just avoided it all after watching Don John Tafford slam it into the ground. So now I guess you want to have your own opinion. So let's that's see. That's fair. Mm. John um, Taffer was right. That's what I had to say. I'm not sure what's what is in it. It's like supposed to be like an electrolyte thing, like Gatorade, I think. Hmm. As he famously said in a video, it's just very syrupy. Mm. Like there's no sugar or anything, but it... Yeah. You, like, you know what I mean? It's just... Very thick. Thick, like, syrupy. You know. It's not for me. And yeah, like I can see people liking it though. I can definitely see it. I guess if you're hot and sweaty on a sports field all day, something like that might be a go-to. But still, Maybe. for that, I'd still it go It could also be the flavor. We had Tropical Punch. Yeah. I'd say this one is not my favorite, but I can see people liking it, definitely. Yeah. So like, a four, For Maybe. me, it's a two. I think yeah. it's, again, just all the flavor. Hmm. Yeah, it could just be the flavor. Yeah. The last thing is something I picked out. It's like a fitness brand here. It's called Alani. And, well, I've seen all the YouTubers. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> the marketing is good. Let's just say they have good marketing with people, like bloggers and stuff. And it's an energy drink. And it's a Hel Halloween version, which is brew. And is it typical American? I wouldn't say so. Do they only sell it here? I'm sure. Maybe in Canada. But they definitely do not sell it in Germany. Mm. This is something you'll have. Because I'm already kind of wired. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's good. Like, I have to say, me personally, I'm a really big fan of like the classic energy taste like Red Bull. I don't really drink like the ones with like tastes. You do like Celsius. I do Celsius all the time, yeah. Oh, but this is good. I think it's supposed to be like an apple flavor. I think it's supposed to be like a caramel or a candy. Mm -hmm. apple. You think it's something I'd like? I think it does taste like apple. You can have a small sip. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to drink the whole thing, just a small sip. Oh yeah. It's really good, right? That straight up has a very similar taste to uh, the Celsius Fantasy Vibe. Mm -hmm. But you can distinctly tell what it is. With Fantasy Vibe, you have to look at the can to know what you're, what it is you're tasting. Mm -hmm. It has like an apple flavor. I like the packaging, it's really pretty. That shouldn't go into the grade, but I like it. You're grading it. it based on taste. I do, I do, and I'd give it an 8. 
I would prefer something like this to just be a soda, to be honest. Because if something tastes good, you want to be able to like just drink it and not always have like the 200 milligrams of caffeine. But I would give it like an 8. 8 out of 10 for that? Yeah, what would you say? I'd give it a 9. Because mm -hmm. it's pretty much more up my route because I go Celsius all the time. So mm -hmm. it's more of that fruity, soda -y energy drink. Well, is is or if that's a way you mm -hmm. can say it. I think so, yeah. yeah. So, scores for the three drinks we tried. Average. And that's it. I hope you had fun. I enjoyed it. I'll probably be in a sugar coma now. <laughs> or just a food coma. Yeah, maybe. Either that or you'll have a sugar rush. I think something like this definitely was a lot of sugar, a lot of stuff. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good day. Bye.